Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time I'm going to show you what next book I'm going to be sending off to CGC. So if you're interested in seeing what book it is, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So it's been a little bit since my last video. That was at Terrificon. Uh, hopefully you guys have seen that. I had a blast there. So uh, I didn't send off any books there to CGC or CBCS. Um, during the convention, I ended up meeting a bunch of creators. Had a blast, met some community members and so forth. And uh, it was just an overall great experience. So it's been a little bit since I've done a CGC uh, submission. So I'm going to just send over one book this time. Um, I've been a little hesitant, to be honest, about sending books to uh, CGC, especially over the, um, I don't know, especially over since the uh, most recent scandals. You know, uh, CGC hasn't had the best rap in the you know, past, you know, about year, year and a half, um, starting with Slabgate, uh, which I talked about well, a long time ago. And then most recently, the uh, what some people have been coining uh, Bananagate, um, which if you're not familiar with, it's uh, basically they've done some, I don't know, some innovating in their inner wells since their most recent Slabgate to, can, you know, kind of contain some of their uh, tamper evident cases. Uh, so from what I've been told, they've been kind of uh, reinforcing their inner wells and it's been kind of you know, causing uh, books inside the inner well to uh, have this a bit of uh, uh, return when you get it back from the cases. Sometimes it causes the book to have um, creases on them and or sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the book stays like that inside the inner well, which is obviously a big concern for us. You know, you're paying for a service and uh, you get that in return. So uh, sometimes... Um, when you know you try to do a quick fix uh cgc uh like trying to make your inner wells you know i guess tamper proof or you know more tamper proof than before it comes with a consequence and um that's what we've been seeing in the last few months probably since like march or april till present with the uh bending of the books so that's why i've been hesitant in submitting books um there have been mainly reports from modern, you know, copper, uh, some Bronze Age books as well that have been showing the um, the bending of the books from the inner well. Even some more vintage books as well, not as many, but mainly modern. I have not personally seen any magazine and or Golden Age books um, shown to have these uh, issues, but um, the one book I'm gonna be submitting, and this is just one book, um, I don't, I don't have much into the book, so if it, you know, I'm not as worried. Um, it, this is like a, almost like a magazine style, but not magazine. I'm just going to show you the book and then uh, basically talk a little bit about it. But um, I'm going to be submitting just one book. Um, hopefully there's no issues with it when it comes back from CGC. I've personally never had any issues with CGC, um, with the exception of one time when they lost my book. <laughs> But uh, if you really want to hear about that story, uh, I guess like let me know in the comments down below. I can I can make a video on it. But um, that happened about a year and a half ago. But um, the one book that I am submitting to CGC is going to be there. You go, Last Ronin issue number one. Uh, this came out a few years ago. I believe it was a six issue mini series. Um, written by uh, Kevin Eastman, Laird, Waltz, Escorza, and Delgado. Great story. Um, if you haven't read it, definitely worth the read. Um, I, I love the story. It was a great story. The artwork inside was fantastic. And um, I personally, I'm not a big fan of these size type of books. Um, it's not a magazine size. As you can see, the bag and board is a magazine size and it is not a full size magazine um but it's not a standard comic book size either which is you know if i pull out a random comic book it's bigger than the comic book so <laughs> it's that awkward in between size so um 
I'm going to send that off. It's obviously going to come back in a magazine size slab. Um, I'm hoping because I haven't heard anything with the uh, magazine size comic books that have been causing any of the inner well issues. We'll ultimately see. I'll do an unboxing when the book comes back. Relatively right now, they've been having some pretty good turnaround times. And I would imagine right now, obviously, with the scandal, um, they're probably going to have even quicker than normal uh, turnaround times. Magazine books are typically a little bit longer than uh, standard size comic books, but we'll see. Um, so that's it. You know, just the one book to CGC this time. You know, last Ronin issue number one. Let me know if you guys have this book. If you've read the series, it's fantastic. Um, and uh, just shoot a comment down below. Let me know you guys, uh, or a like, a thumbs down, thumbs up. Just let me know. Do some interaction with the channel. Let me know you guys are still watching and uh, enjoying the content that I do put out when I can. I have some more boxes uh, that I brought up with me. I'm hoping to do some more uh, recordings this week and slowly put up the videos as well. So uh, until next time, Mark Spectacomics, out.